everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney here with Gidget today. <laughs> um, happy, oh, so happy Friday everyone. I have kind of, uh, I've been doing some work here in my house and I'm excited to show you what we've been up to this week. But before we get into that, today is Friday and um, the Love Notions Feature Friday pattern today, um, which means this pattern is $5 off today only, is the uh, Ravinia skirt. I actually haven't made this pattern, but Ilsa, one of the other brand ambassadors, did a hack where she took the Willow Wrap Dress top and put it on the Ravinia skirt. It is so good. So definitely go have a look at that. Um, and it's it's a knit skirt. Oh, we're losing Gidget. It's a knit skirt. So um, a real loose you know, maxi skirt, although it also comes in a shorter length too. I just haven't had a chance to um, to make that one up yet, but gosh, looking at Elsa's, it really makes me want to do that. Um, it's just really good. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about my closet makeover. So um, just kind of a little bit of a backstory. Um, since I have been sewing in capsules and planning out my wardrobe with capsule wardrobes, you know, I got my colors done, all that jazz to help make my closet as cohesive as possible. That only goes so far um, because if your space <laughs> is hard to navigate, if you can't see what you have, if um, you know things aren't easily, you know, if your eye doesn't easily see things, so you can put things together, it's just it's just not going to work. It's not going to be as efficient and as cohesive as it could be. So one of the things that I have really been um, kind of focusing on, and Jennifer uh, Mackie Mary from Everyday Style, she's had a couple of podcasts where she's talked about um, doing like a closet makeover and that type of thing, and she also has a um, closet makeover class that's available on her site. I will link that down below if you're interested. The class does cost money, but the podcast is free. So depending on how far you wanna delve into this, she does have some great tips. Oh my gosh, my eyeball, I am so sorry. I hate to keep calling attention to it, but I sit down and these lights just dry it right out. <laughs> My allergies have also been really bad um, since we got back from Michigan. Anyway, um, so she has a lot of really, really great tips and I've been listening to all of those and following all of those. So if there's things that you want to delve deeper into, I'll, I'll leave those resources um, in the description box down below for you to go have a look yourself. But one of the things, um, actually, she said, you would be surprised how just changing the lighting in your closet, what a difference that can make. And she's right. You don't even have to spend new light bulbs, really. <laughs> Um, and I forgot to do video of my closet before we changed the light fixture, mostly because we had gone and purchased a light fixture, a new light fixture, and then my husband and son installed it before I even knew what was happening, um, which is great, but I didn't get a chance to film. But I do have pictures, so here in a minute I will show you before pictures of the closet, and then when I started the filming, the light fixture had been changed, but then everything else was the same, so I'll take you through the, the progress there. But um, changing out our closet has been something we've wanted to do for a while. Um, we had a real shoe issue, and I don't even have a ton of pairs of shoes, but the shoes, and you'll see here in a second, it's really kind of embarrassing, were just everywhere. They, my shoes were just a pile. Um, I had some that were on shelves, but then I ran out of room, and then things just got piled on top of each other, and it just it gets out of hand so quickly. I also felt like our closet was very inefficient for our needs. So we had we have a pretty narrow closet. It's not a huge walk-in closet, but it's enough for what we need. Um, but it's very narrow and a little bit longer. And we had, um, which you'll see in a second, stuff on one side and then on the back of the closet, and. Um, all of my clothes we were keeping in the first two like full length um, spots, but I felt like there was so much wasted space because I actually have very few l things that need the like the long hanging space. Um, obviously my dresses, some jumpsuits, some of my longer coats, but in comparison to the rest of my closet, most of my closet could go into the shorter hanging spaces because I, um, you know, like pants, skirts, tops, jackets, most of that stuff is shorter. Um, so I felt like that was wasted space. We had like a lot of shelves that we had stuff crammed onto, but that didn't feel efficient. There was just a lot of inefficiencies in our closet. Um, but I would like to say there still was are things that we could have done to improve it without spending hardly anything, like the light bulbs. I was just shocked the difference that the light made in my closet. Um, number one, it showcased how dirty and disgusting our walls were in there, but also <laughs> I could all of a sudden see putting a daylight light bulb in your 
closet, just just do that and see what happens. It's amazing the difference that it made. Um, but yeah, the goal was to make it usable for both my husband and myself, um, but also for me specifically, just to be able to easily see things and, and that sort of thing. So my husband, um, let's see, it was like right before my kids went out of town for the week, got a surprise, a little surprise bonus from work for a project that he had been working on. And we were talking about what we wanted to spend that money on. And we decided, actually I got him to, I, I love Container Store, it's one of my favorite places, I just like to walk around in there. Um, but I told him, I said, let's just go have them design our closet space, because that is a free service. So they can design the, the closet space for you on their software right there while you're standing. Um, you just bring in all of your measurements. I also took pictures of the space so they could kind of see what we were working with. And I was like, let's just see what it costs, <laughs> fully knowing that I really, you know, Let's, let's use that bonus money on that. Um, and when we went in, we were very happy to notice that they were doing a 25% off sale off their Alpha systems, which is the system that we bought for our closet. Um, it's also the systems I use here in my sewing room. So um, that's, you know, we decided to go ahead and spend his little bonus money on redoing the closet. Um, and we decided, you know, we'll get a light fixture. So we, we got the light fixture. We got a gallon of paint to paint the walls. We already had trim paint to do our trim, um, cause the trim was really beat up in there. Um, so it just needed, it took one coat, um, but just enough to kind of pretty things up and you might as well, you've got everything pulled out. Uh, and then we just went with a pure white from Sherwin Williams. Um, pure white was the color. So it was, Literally, I just wanted bright white, white walls. And then we went with the Alpha system that was white with the white fascia fronts. There's a whole bunch, there's like three different levels of closeting systems that you can choose from with them. And then obviously you can pick the, all the little bits and pieces that you want to put in there as well. So I knew that I wanted really good shoe storage. Both of us wanted good shoe storage. And my mother has the shoe drawers, which you'll see in a minute. And I love those. So I knew I wanted those. Um, my husband, the men's shoes, you can only get, you can get six women's shoes, um, you know, I, I mean, I guess it depends on the size of shoe, but typically I think it's more width and like how chunky a shoe is. Um, cause I did notice I could not get three pairs of tennis shoes across. I could get two pairs of tennis shoes and then like a pair of flats in one like thing across. But you know, for all intents and purposes, you can get six pairs of women's shoes in one drawer or four pairs of men's shoes. Um, but there's just wasted space there with the men's. But anyway, <laughs> um, I knew that I wanted that. I have 36 pairs of shoes and that includes everything. That includes my flip flops. That includes my work, like work in the yard shoes, my snow boots, my rain boots, um, all in, I have 36 pairs of shoes. Now we did go through the two of us and do some culling. He had a lot that needed, I mean, some really old shirts that needed to go. I'm talking old as in he's been in his current job for 21 years in May. And some of these shirts, I'm pretty sure he had at the beginning of this job. Sometimes it's just time to let things go. I'm all about using things up, but sometimes um, things don't fit like they used to. And yes, it's just time. Or I don't even know that he was even wearing them. They were just in his closet because he won't get rid of anything. Anyway, so we did do some calling. So that's what we decided to do. So while the kids were gone, we went, designed our closet, ordered everything. The stuff arrived on Sunday. So I'm filming this on Wednesday. You're seeing it on Friday. So the you know, whatever that, six days prior to when you're watching this, um, everything arrived. So we went and picked all of that up um, because my parents had been in town all weekend. We got back from Michigan, they left. So Sunday we um, got down and dirty and after church, we went and picked up all the stuff, put it in the dining room, emptied everything out of our closet because everything had to go out because we pulled the old system out. Pulled everything out went through stuff, decided what needed to donate. My son took some of my husband's things that he can no longer wear. My daughter took a pair of shoes of mine and a purse and a couple belts. So, I mean, we just kind of, we kind of did that sort of thing. My house was a mess. I mean, cause we had our entire contents of our closet in our bedroom, you're gonna see that in a minute, and also in our dining room. Um, and then my husband and son pulled everything out. We got the walls paint fixed and painted all on Sunday. 
And then on Monday, we got the trim painted. My husband and son built the new system. And then we started filling things just because it got to the, it was like 1030 at night. I go to bed early, folks. Like 10 o'clock is the latest I go to bed. But it was like 1030 at night on Monday night. And they we finally finished because I was helping at this point. Put Got everything in, um, like the whole system in. And my husband's like, let's just make sure that the shoes are going to fit. So we put all of our shoes in. And then it was... Let's just bring all the hanging stuff in. So then anyway, it totally got away from us. It was after one o'clock in the morning before we got to bed on Monday or Tuesday morning, I guess, um, which is way late for us, but we did it. And now everything is um, in and we went to container store last night to get a couple more baskets um, and to return a couple of pieces that we just didn't need um, that were included with everything. So very pleased with the finished closet, but I just kind of, I get a lot of questions on the, on my closet system and how I store my clothes and stuff like that. Now I do want to say everything that's in my closet right now is my warm weather stuff. I also have drawers in a, um, I have a, actually it's my grandmother's childhood vintage, um, dresser that's in my bedroom, uh, that I have a few things as well. But a lot of that, everything in my current capsule is hanging in my closet so I can easily see everything. So even my t-shirts are hanging right there in my closet so I can easily see what I've got and make sure I'm using everything to its advantage. Uh, but anything cold weather is all upstairs in my upstairs closet. I also have some in the guest room closet. I also have some things that I've made like that are just really nice. You know, um, I've got like a ball skirt and, and stuff like that that I'm not going to wear very frequently. That all lives upstairs in the upstairs um, guest room closet. Um anything that, yeah, anything that's not going to be like a day-to-day -day wear, like maybe for a special occasion or something like that, I might pull it out. That's all upstairs. And then my coats, we have a coat closet in our um, laundry room slash mudroom. So my coats, like my actual coat coats, all live there. So this isn't everything in my wardrobe because you guys will probably be like, wait a second, you do a lot of sewing. Where is it all? <laughs> so I do I have dresser drawers, um, the stuff that I, you know, don't want to hang or things that aren't necessarily part of my capsule, but I may still grab, you know, like my workout clothes, all that kind of stuff um, is in my dresser drawers. So just that as a caveat. But um, without further ado, I'm going to take you and show you the process of recreating a new closet. Okay, so this is not, I need to hook it shirts, clean shirts hanging to dry here. This is not truly indicative of the before because my husband and son, oh, change the chandelier. There it goes. It's so pretty. It's kind of blingy, but not really. Um, anyway, this is the before of our closet. It is packed. Look at my shoes. They're everywhere. Um, we've got crap on the walls. So this is the before. Um, and we are going to be pulling all of this old system out, painting the walls, painting the trim, putting the new system in, but we are also going through and decluttering. And by we, I mean mostly my husband. I keep my um, stuff pretty cold, but he is um, gonna be going through and doing all of his. Those are all of his shirts, come on now. Anyway, I think our new system is gonna be much more, make much more sense for us and the clothing that we have. So, okay, this is the before, although with the new light fixture, um, it was much darker in here. And I'm excited to show you guys the after. Okay, it looks a lot bigger without the stuff in it. <laughs> we have everything pulled out. We have gone through and culled quite a bit of things, which is great. So now um, my husband and son are gonna rip this old closet out. Um, and then we're gonna paint, uh, trim, and walls, and then um, we need to vacuum really badly. <laughs> and then they'll, we'll start putting up the, the new system probably tomorrow. So here we go, my new beautiful light fixture. Okay. And just for reference, this is what my bedroom currently looks like. <laughs> and then the rest of the stuff, all the hanging stuff is in, there's Gidget. Um, is in, we've got like stuff. Everything's very dusty too. So we've got Gidget, who has no idea what's going on. My husband's stuff. Um, and then a lot of stuff in the dining room. A lot of the stuff in the dining room though is also the new closet that's coming in. It's just all the boxes and stuff, but oh my gosh, you're such a mess. Okay, this baby is empty. Look at the mess 
that is my walls. Um, okay, so I've cleaned off the baseboards. Obviously, I've given the walls a good sanding before we even put any of the like um, spackling in to repair all these holes. Um, but I think I'll just probably do a quick, um, look how dirty those walls look. It's all getting freshly painted. So the trim's gonna get painted, the walls are gonna get painted. Um, so I'll probably just take you through a progression, a snap progression of uh, all the stages as we get through. So let's, let's get started. Let's get these walls repaired and tape on. finished closet okay this is the new closet I'm gonna give you a quick little tour here we are not completely organized in here yet but um, I mean it's getting there so we've got here obviously on my new beautiful light fixture which I don't know if that's gonna it's gonna blow that out it's beautiful though <laughs> looks like a ball of light on the ceiling daylight bulbs have made all the difference um, and then painting this white on the inside has made all the difference. So we've got, everything is container store. Um, they were having a sale, but I got these quilted baskets up here just to hide like the junk. Like we've got, I mean, we still have like, that's my husband's um, soccer training bags and stuff. We're currently not in soccer season, but he's a coach and that's all his stuff. And then we've got like, um, we have some Halloween costumes that, cause we go to a, a one of our neighbors has a party every year for Halloween. Um, that we attend. So we have like a few different that we kind of rotate through. So that is what that bin is. Um, I mean, a couple of these just have stuff in them. One of the bins has like all of my like yard work clothes and painting clothes, just the kind of the gross clothes that I only need to get into once in a blue moon. Another one has our flannel sheets that go on our bed um, that obviously we're not using now. So the regular sheets will go up there uh, when the weather gets cold. Uh, then up here, well here, we'll start with this side of the closet. So we've got, and you can see poking out, I got the valet bars, which is great for hanging things that need to dry when they come out of the wash, because a lot of my stuff I'll pull out and not put in the dryer, so that's really lovely. Obviously, we have a lot of hanging room here. I have my, my current um, blazers and jackets that are hanging here right now, really only to save a spot because I didn't want my husband taking all of it. So I just kind of stuck those up there right now. I will probably reorganize. I can reach those, but it is a little tall for me. Um, and to keep in mind, this is only my warm weather clothing. And I do have some, obviously some cardigans because, you know, when you're in air conditioning and stuff like that. Um, but my cold weather stuff is all upstairs in our guest room closet. All of my husband's clothes are in the closet. So these are all, and he purged so much. I'm so proud of him. But these are all his shirts, his golf shirts. He wears those to work. Um, he only works in the office two days a week. He works at home the other three. So he doesn't need a ton, but he is also a golfer. So he's got golf shirts and then his button down shirts for when it's colder. And then he's got some just like random t-shirts that he hangs there at the back. And then his, um, he has two suits that are back there as well. Also, um, we've got, well here, we'll start back here. So we've got this wonderful um, countertop that kind of goes the whole distance. I've got my bathing suits in here. I, we do have a hat rack that's coming to hang my hats and his hats, our towels, we've got those. Um, and then down here, these are my clothes. So I've got my, right now, obviously we're in summer, so I've got my shorts, I like to put shorts and skirts on the hangers with the clips. I use the um, velvet hangers. They're my favorite. My husband doesn't like them, so he's got like just the plastic ones. But I like the velvet ones. Um, I like to hang my pants, so just on a regular hanger. But I like the clips for shorts and skirts. Then I've got my t-shirts and then my button-down shirts. Um, that jacket's in the wrong spot. It should be over here with these jackets. Then let's move on. We've got some drawers in here. This is my um, my husband's. He's 
put all of his ties um, and then just some few odds and ends in that drawer. I've got my sweatshirts are in this drawer. So any kind of athletic stuff. And then I'll get to the shoes in a second. I'm in love with that shoe system. And then I've just got a couple of my, I have like a water hat that's kind of in here. Obviously I have room for more things. And then some belts that wouldn't hang on the belt hooks at the end. And then my sweaters are right here on this side. And then I've got um, my, like my pashminas, um, bigger scarves, that sort of thing are here. Then down here, these are the shoe. These things are amazing. They hold six pairs of shoes per drawer. And this is going to, I mean, that was my biggest issue is my shoes were everywhere. And then down here, uh, excuse me, at the bottom are high heels. So high heels don't fit into, um, or like I have a couple of high heeled boots as well. You can see my leopard booties just peeking out there, but I have room for more. And my husband was even able to take one of the things for my shoes. So, um, yeah, those are, these are all my shoes. These are all seasons all of my shoes only my off-season clothes are upstairs and then I have this area here this is obviously hangers here that I could hang things and I may move my stuff back here um we'll just wait and see we've got our hamper I have all my scarves um hanging on hooks back here and then here is my current season hanging long hanging stuff and then I've got the purse dividers folks I was salivating over these. My mom has these in her, um, I just, in her closet. And I just wanted to be e able to easily grab a new purse, like a ch to change my purse and not have to like get into the top of my suit or my closet or and be able to see what I've got. So this is all of my warm weather purses. And then I do have in a, these two bins up here, my, um, cold weather purses. Now, technically my Michael Kors bag up there, I mean, I use that more in the fall, but I do use that sometimes in the summer. So I, it's like a everyday bag. So that one stayed up. A few random odds and ends here. We are getting an over the door rack for that iron and ironing board. And my husband's getting a hat rack for his hats. So we do still have some stuff here. But then here are his sweaters and his uh, quarter zips. Um, these are all of my like um, wallets and clutches and stuff like that. That's a vintage crocodile purse back here that my mother-in-law bought me at a flea market for Christmas, I think, or my birthday. It is in the best shape and it's probably from the 1940s. It's gorgeous. Um, so his quarter zips and then here are his shoes. So his shoes down here. I do have some boots that are down here that needed obviously a little bit taller space, but everything is off the floor and I... I mean, we've got my robe here. We've got some, his belts and then my belts that hang. I mean, his, I don't know why these are on the floor. Literally the reason we did this was to keep shoes off the floor. And what does he do? The first thing. <laughs> so I'll have to get on to him when he gets home. He's in the office today. Anyway, that is how I do. This is our new closet. And I'm just very excited for all the opportunities of organizing, especially my capsules. I don't have uh, any of my summer the things that are, I was going to make for my summer capsule, I've not done any of that yet. So um, I've been working on my daughter because I'm a selfless mother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It was just easier. Um, but I've got obviously spots here for more of my summer wardrobe to come in. So very excited to kind of play around with organization there. And so happy with my new and improved closet closet system. Okay. So there you have it. That is our new closet. So happy with it. I just keep walking in there. Um, again, we still have a few things that need to be done. My husband's ordered a new hat rack for all this, his ball caps. And um, we've got a over the door um, little piece for the ironing board um, that we're gonna put on the back of the door because any ironing that gets done does get done in our master bathroom. So um, yeah. So we're gonna get one of those to hang the ironing board on the back of the door. So yeah, a couple of things that still need to be done. And again, I may go through and reorganize a few things. I did 
put things in placeholders so that my husband wouldn't take over those areas. But um, yeah, I may go through and like reorganize a few things and get things and a little bit, you know, what makes best sense for me as I'm getting dressed. And I kind of wanted to just see, live in it for a little bit and decide what's going to work best for my flow and that sort of thing um, as I'm picking things out. But yeah, I think it works so much better to have the half hanging. I think that made a huge difference, having a lot more of the half hanging pieces and just the small amount of full hanging. Um, I think having some more shelves worked a lot better and shelves that are easily to access and getting the shoes off the floor. I think those are the big things that have made the most difference. So if this is a, a project like this that you're wanting to um, tackle yourself or, you know, do whatever, those were the things that I found helped us the most uh, in the whole scheme of things. So there you have it. That is our new closet. It's a very exciting thing. And uh, both of us are feeling just great about having that very organized place. <laughs> and everything's cleaned up now. The dining room's back to normal. Our bedroom's back to normal. It feels good. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, nothing really sewing related, more just like organization, I guess, related. Um, Sunday is going to be a knit buttonhole tutorial. And then, um, yeah, with, with the rayon that I put out and everything, I had a lot of requests for some so from to, some tutorials for either the patterns I was working going to work on for those or um, just working with rayon and that kind of thing. So I am going to do some vlogging as I'm working through all these rayon. I may break it up into different ones because that might be a lot of vlog, um, you know, as I get into some of this. So yeah, we may break this up into a few different videos and then I thought I could break out some separate tutorials for Sundays um, related to that as well. I had a lot of requests for the uh, Meet You There, the tiered dress that does not have uh, darts. I'm going to be putting darts in there. I just like a dart better on my body. Um, I think it fits me better. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Adding a dart where there's not a dart um, type full bust adjustment. And then what else? Um, stay stitching rayon so you don't stretch it out was another one that was an idea. There were And then there were other things that people gave me ideas that weren't necessarily related to the rayon. Uh, French seams. Anyway, a lot of uh, good fodder going forward for the Sunday uh, tutorials. Okay, that's all I have for today. I will be back um, on Tuesday. I actually think Tuesday might be a pattern release. So I'm working on two pattern tests right now. So you're going to be having two coming at you here uh, fairly quickly. But I think Tuesday might actually be a pattern release. I think. Um, anyway, and I've got some sew the looks I would like to do. We just have, I have a lot of things, a lot of things planned. Um, also, today you should have received a newsletter. If you haven't already signed up for the newsletter, you do get a um, wardrobe basics checklist uh, for free when you sign up for the newsletter. Just kind of uh, a place where you can jot down all of your TNT patterns as well as um, a checklist for your own making, you know, filling those basics in your wardrobe. So that then if you're interested in doing like the capsule type sewing, it's easy to pull from those basics and I have a whole video on it. <laughs> but you do get that free when you sign up for the newsletter and a newsletter went out today. So if for some reason you didn't receive that, um, check your spam, check your junk, make sure you've added me as your contact. Um, that way it won't go to those, those uh, files or those folders anymore. But if for some reason you just can't find, there isn't a, there isn't a free checklist coming with this it's just a newsletter for this week, so um, there's nothing other than the actual, just a little note letter type thing for me. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're not receiving those and we'll see if what I can figure out. But definitely check all of your junk, spam, um, promotion, Gmail, the promotion folder, all of those um, as well. So it'll be coming from Tomcat Stitchery. All right, guys, so that's all I have for today. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you get a lot of sewing in and I will see you guys again next week. Have a good one. Bye.